Uh, good evening. My name is Tori Smith, and I would like to do a MyLab child trafficking report for the 20th of April, which was Wednesday. Uh, 72 children were brought in from two sources and then taken to three locations. Uh, the first source was ICE, uh, and that they abducted 16 children in central Texas. Uh, and then they took these children from their parents, and then their parents were sent to a Nazi concentration camp in southern Texas, close to Houston. Um, and uh, the dark side uh, calls these places FEMA campgrounds. And they keep, I hear them talking all the time about how, you know, like with me, they say, well, it doesn't matter what this guy says because we're going to kill him all anyway. And, um, you know, they've tried to do this several times but they haven't been able to do it with everybody, but uh, they do this quite often with people who've come into this country by walking over the border. Uh, Air Force was the second source. 56 children were taken from the Tokyo My Lab, uh, where they had been raped by 147 males, a total of 316 times. And then uh, 16 Air Force males raped 12 of these Japanese children a total of 24 times on the flight, flight to Roswell. Uh, and then the children were uh, distributed to three locations. The Pentagon, uh, 24 children were gang raped by a group of 519 males, a total of 966 times, uh, all Pentagon employees. All 24 were killed by six reptilians, while 212 Pentagon employees watched. Roswell, 24 children were gang raped by a group of 307 males, a total of 704 times. And all military, except for the three governors who were there from Texas, Colorado, and California, and 14 U.S. senators. And all 24 were children were killed by uh, 12 reptilians, while 176 males watched. In Washington, D.C., number two, uh, Washington, D.C., my lab number two. Twenty-four children were gang raped by a group of 112 males, a total of 351 times. Um, um, almost all military, CIA, FBI, NSA, TSA, DHS, Secret Service, Army, Navy, Air Force, D.C. Police, and Maryland State Police were also there, and uh, three U.S. Senators. And uh, all, all U.S. Senators are involved except for two in my lab child trafficking. Um, and all 24 of these children were killed by eight reptilians while 46 watched. And um, there was a major, major, because, uh, uh, you know, a lot of people I like to touch on the subject of mind control, which they do a lot to a lot of people. And what mind control really means is, what they do is they come along, and it's almost like they put videos in your head, uh, they put voices in your head, or you think you're hearing someone speak. But it's really, and then they also have the astral dreamscape, which is basically the same thing. They call it the Illuminati playground, where they can create like Hollywood, and you are doing things in the astral dreamscape that you wouldn't normally do. And, um, but it doesn't really work for me because I have such a strong will against these people. And so a lot of times, you know, they'll, uh, I'll be in the astral dreamscape and I'll start telling people how they can heal themselves or something like that. And it really upsets them. But mind control is more like a spell. If you remember that TV show Bewitched when Endora would come down and put Darren under a spell you know, whatever, and he would think he was a chicken or whatever. That's almost the same thing. But it's not as real as that. Well, you know, fake TV. But he, you don't actually turn into a chicken. You can just think you're... You get the impression that you are something or that you're doing something when you're not really doing it. But it, the problem is with that is it wears off. And this is why I always advise people to uh, refresh and renew your cord of light directly into the heart of God. And a lot of people say, well, I'm not going to do that because, you know, Lucifer's God, Satan's God. Well, they're not really gods. But the thing is, if you think that there are gods in this universe besides mother and father God, then you could be connecting to somebody else. So you just have to specifically say, 
you know, mother and father got in heaven or the creator of the universe, um, you know, you might need to alter that, uh, you know, definition out before you refresh and renew your core. But I just do it because I'm, I'm constantly, um, you know, connected to mother and father God in heaven. And, um, which I highly recommend to anybody who has more than 51% sacred light can go to either one of their temples in heaven and visit them, whether it be out of body or in meditation or, um, by location, which is great because all of you goes and all of you stay. Well, not your physical body doesn't go, but uh, your physical body stays here, but all of your spirit goes and all of it stays. And that way, if something happens, you know, where somebody comes to the door or whatever, you're already back here. When you do out of body, your soul literally separates from your body and your soul is off and it can take a while to get back. And then especially there's a process. The best way to come back is to do it gently. But sometimes people get slammed. And I think that there's a term for that. Astral catal something. I'd have to look it up. I can't really pronounce it now. And it C-A-T-A-P-A-L. I can't. Catalpacy. But anyway, there's a term for that. That's when basically what happens is you get slammed back into your body. And it's a shock. And it's very unpleasant. And so that's why I recommend by location or meditation. Meditation is one of the best ways to do that, to go visit Mother and Father God in Heaven. And, um, but yeah, that's what, that's what they were doing because it seemed like some people were being arrested, but they weren't. But on the plus side, that uh, all the reptilians are being arrested. And what happens with that is, because I always say, well, I'm involved in the arrest for those who are not from Earth and what? Well, of course, nobody's from Earth. Um, but what I mean is residents of Earth. You know, because a lot of people have been coming in from other star systems and other galaxies to help them, to help the dark side throw everybody in the concentration camps, because they like to feed off of his humans. They like to feed off our uh, feed off of us energetically, and they like to feed off us physically by eating us. Especially the children. No, a lot of they don't like to eat the adults because we've been so contaminated by vaccines and other deadly toxic chemicals. But um, anyway, uh, so yeah, I don't. I don't think anybody's been arrested. But we have uh, um, uh, have arrested 159 reptilians over the past uh, about 48 hours, and um, I know seven more just got arrested here. And the process with that is that God sends energy through us. And it's a three or four or five step process depending on the reptilian or insectian. And once that process is complete, then the galactics, uh, well, they either do it a couple different ways. They, well, they used to come down and pick them up and take them up, but now they don't do that anymore. I think because it's happened so many times here in, in, you know, here in Thorn Creek, Indiana, uh, north of Columbia City, we've arrested so many reptilians here that they don't come down anymore. They just beam them up. They just shoot up like a lightning bolt. And so there is, but it's kind of frustrating because I'm exhausted. The top of my head is really swollen and it's hot. They keep pumping chemicals into me. But, you know, it's not like I'm going to die, you know. It's not like I get to die because heaven's not ready for me. So I'll stay here with all of you fighting the reptilians and child traffickers every day. Until someday heaven will be ready for me. And then I'll get to die. Wouldn't that be great? Well, I don't really want to die. I just want to leave. You know, it's like, who wants to stay here on this planet where children are raped and murdered every day? And then they just take their bodies and they throw them into these tanks and they mash them all up and they turn them into hamburger meat and then feed them to people. If you witness this shit every day, you'd be going nuts too. But thank you for your prayers. They really do make a difference. God bless your hearts.